Okay, uh, this is going to be the part one video for uh, KDZ, the phone back to stock 11A. I tried to do it the lazy way where super user unroots itself. I think you might have to restart the phone, but better safe than sorry. Uh, let's do the KDZ method. Just to show you that this was uh, rooted, as you can tell by the super user. I think it's in here. You can't even. Oh, there it is. Just show you that it's modified and that I'm on 11A. So we're going to KDZ the phone and then take the OTA. So I got hooked up on my computer, um, got all my files. Uh, these are just my backups and everything. So I'm going to take that KDC file and put it on here. So I am going to uh, show you guys how to do it. Um, as one of the people said on my walkthrough video, or I think it's the pre uh, newest post I made, he told me it's the same method as I did with 11A. And as I keep looking over it, doing the homework and stuff, before I even make this move, it actually looks like it is the same method as the walkthrough video that I've made. This is, video is also a two-parter to get you from 11A to 13B, and then root 13B. Alright, so I got the flash tool. Hoping the 2014 version that I have should uh, work. After all, we are reflashing the 11A stock. This is the unrooted version. Um... The links are in my post, but they will be in this one as well. So, right here, um, this is your flash tool right here. Uh, make sure you take the KDC file, throw everything on your desktop just like I did. Um, there it goes, now it's f focusing. Um, just stick everything in that folder, so right now we just need to deal with that. I'm gonna run that one in admin. And uh, let you guys know, I have some people have asked me this question. Uh, does it work on Windows 8 or Windows 8 64 bit? Um, before we continue on, I will show you my system. If I can find it. Row one. Screw it, I'll just use the keyboard since I'm holding the phone. There's your Windows 10 right there. 64 bit everything. So that way you don't have to sit there and figure out does it really work on this? The answer is yes, it will work. So don't sit there and freak out. So right there is the flash tool. And I'm pretty much rusty on this too, so you will realize this video has been paused so many times because I'm going back through my own walkthrough doing this. All right, my video tutorial. I guess I'm going through it right there. It is my old post. Uh, power off the phone. And on my post, I just leave everything plugged in. As the phone turns off, hold the up button immediately. So as soon as it vibrates, Hold the up button down, and you go into a download mode. <laughs> okay, well that's in there. Back to this program. Uh, what you do is you click on the CSE flash. This window will pop up. Just click on start. This other window will pop up. And as one of the posts says, leave everything the hell alone. Hit OK. And it should be doing its thing right now.
Once it shows up uh, 1% or so, I uh, will go ahead and uh, stop the video. Oh yeah, I forgot. This little thing here. Yeah. Sometimes I've seen this thing go to English, then it goes back to Korean, then with a bunch of question marks. And I have to sit right here and try to figure out what the hell it says. So I just hit OK. Blah, 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 okay. Now as there were options on there, and then I screwed it up. Nope, there it goes. So, when this is done, I will show you that it's the stock 11A, and then we will attempt to do the OTA. Okay, well, so let's just hope nobody didn't try that stupid move that I did. Okay. Uh, I missed a step or something because the phone's still sitting on 2% and uh, I'm like, connection to server failed, that's pretty much why it failed. It resets itself back to zero it looks like, I see one up to one, two. Okay, so what I did is I stopped this stupid thing. So when you get that second window with all those stupid question marks, don't click on that button. It was an exit button. It failed to connect to the internet, which it's supposed to do it anyways. Um, right now it's doing its thing, so that was my bad. But this shouldn't even brick the phone when a cancel process happens when it's in a firmware mode and as you saw it resetted from zero and it started to do its update process so my bad on that i should have watched the rest of my video more carefully like i said i'm rusty so this shouldn't brick your phone but as you guys are watching this and not even doing anything just yet hopefully you can see the results of my phone. Um, while it's doing its thing, I'll go ahead and it'll explain why I'm doing this now and only why I have a 1G4. My uh, girlfriend's phone, the one that you guys seen on the walkthrough, I've helped her get root on her phone so I can, you know, do some modifications to it. And uh, her phone doesn't have the issues that mine has. Hers doesn't have the touch lag or overheat. But I'm starting to experience overheating issues on my phone now. And the lag doesn't really bother me. They say there's ways to make it smoother. And I did. But sometimes the phone doesn't register my touches at times. So this is why I'm doing it. And I'm not going to do her phone after I do mine because hers runs perfectly but until Marshmallow comes out if she wants it then I will do it when that route comes out in the future hopefully so this is like pretty much a rear a real progress of you guys watching me root my phone and having no idea what the hell is going to happen next so yeah and another thing is my video is pretty much going to be another long video because I sit here and talk too much while this thing is doing it but if you guys don't care I've seen people rated me oh, you guys did good and the walkthrough had over 7,000 views well actually that's the very first video I ever had that much people looking at it so all right well I hope this really does help everybody and when it gets to the next step um I'll unpause the video recording and continue on. Alright, the moment of truth. Did I screw it up? <laughs> we'll see. No, apparently uh, canceling the process on accident doesn't screw up your phone. Oh, and as for a reminder, if you see the software crash like that, 
Don't sit there and crap out bricks or whatever. Just tell it to close the program. Anyways, it's supposed to do that, so no worries. Don't freak out and go, oh my god, uh, did, since it crashed, did the thing did not install properly? Uh, yeah, it did. As you can tell, there is no system failure. That's the Verizon logo. And then, I guess I'll be playing the waiting game for that stupid OTA update. Yes, I'm calling it stupid because I really don't like them for what Verizon's trying to do. I love Verizon on my behalf, but some of the things, I think they got monkeys smoking weed in the background. Oh, let's pull this feature, let's pull that feature, and all this stupid stuff. So I'm afraid if I do the 13B, I'm afraid I won't have access to the download mode. Then I have to shove this phone up Verizon's. Well, the question is, where do you shove a phone up at, uh, at Verizon? Maybe you guys can answer that one, because I'm not saying a word. Okay, just screwing around. I'm curious to what would happen if I resume a video in a landscape mode. It's almost done. Whee! And I've given it the wrong name. I meant portrait mode. I really hate portrait. I meant to say... I had it in, well, what happened if I put the phone in portrait mode yeah, after it was on landscape? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, configure the phone. And I think it's because it got off because of that stupid overheat. It's kind of warm back here. Now, unless it's supposed to restart, who knows. But it is kind of warm back here. Might as well use this as a personal heater in the winter. Alright, I think I did got the, yeah, it looks like I did have the right KDZ file to flash everything back to normal. So, yeah, it says official there, so it's no longer modified. Alright, now... We're going to do a system update, and I'm not going to sit here and do the system update forever because who knows how long it's going to take, especially with this crappy internet connection I have. I'm on a Xfinity hotspot. I'd be lucky that I can get two videos uploaded onto the internet just to show you guys these. But once I get the new software accepted, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. This will be the part one. I'm just sitting here, here showing you guys that, you know, I'm not here to screw anybody over. Just show you that all this stuff is legit. So let's go ahead and download now. Alright, so the uh, OTA is downloading and after that I will start the next video with the new update and my phone is really freaking hot in the back maybe it won't cut off now because the last time I uh, restored the phone to factory settings and played Need for Speed with the phone really really hot it didn't want to even cut off for some reason I don't know why it does it now later on but let's hope this update will fix that issue that's my main concern, is the freaking overheat. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video.